Hello and welcome back. Today we've got an exciting tutorial. We're going to talk about Amazon Redshift and we'll learn about columnar data storage and online analytics processing versus online transaction processing types of storage. So here are our typical data stores in AWS, or, well, databases. Uh, we've got RDS, which supports MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, and so on. And all of those um, are SQL databases, they're all relational databases, and they're all classified as well as online transaction processing type of storage. And what does that mean? Well, that means that data on disk is actually stored in a specific way. So when you look at the data from each individual row, so all of these uh, elements of uh, a single row, they're all, all this data of each row is stored close together on disk. So let's add that over here. So each row, if you look at the disk, you'll see row, all the data of one row, then next to it, all the data of the next after that, all the data of the second row, and then all the data of the third row. So any, like the price of, a, of row four will be stored next to the quantity of row four, next to the discount of row four. And that makes it easy to read and write rows into the data. So if you, for example, you have a online store and more transactions are coming in, you're just adding more transactions or you need to read a specific row, look up an order ID and find the price. It'll be quite easy to do because um, that data is stored quite uh, is stored close to each other. However, this type of data storage, which is called online transaction processing type of data storage, is not efficient for analyzing data. For analyzing data, we're more interested in columns. For example, we want to know what was the total quantity, or what was the maximum discount, or what was the average price, or what was the number of unique order IDs. So we're always analyzing columns, or in most cases, we're analyzing columns when we're analyzing data. We're not that interested in analyzing rows. And because of the way the data is stored, it would be quite inefficient to go and pick out uh, all of the individual quantities because they're not stored close together on disk. They're stored in this, uh, quite sparsely away from each other. And that would slow down the analytics processing. And that's where Redshift comes in. So we've got Redshift here and the way it stores data is different. It's an online analytics or an online analytical processing type of data storage. And here, data from one column is stored close together. So for example, if we take the quantity column and we look at where it's stored on disk, all of these values will be close, stored close together and all the discounts will be stored close together and all the prices will be stored close together. So it's not as efficient now at writing individual rows and reading individual rows, not as great as OLTP was, but on the other hand, it's very efficient at analyzing. So if you want to aggregate and find the total quantity, it's quite easy because, or quite efficient because all of that information is stored close together on disk. Or if you want to find the average price, same thing. All of that prices are stored close together on disk. So that's what Amazon Redshift is all about. And uh, it's effectively a cloud data warehouse. It's fully managed. It's scalable. It's designed to handle petabyte scale data. Um, and it's based on columnar storage. It is still a um, is still an SQL type of database. So you do use SQL to manipulate your data and it isn't serverless. So you do need to provision EC2 instances. And the way to remember for the exam is that Redshift is basically in the name. You're shifting it from this storage to this storage. You're shifting it from uh, rows being stored or, or like one data of one row being stored close together to da data inside one column being stored together. That's why it's called probably Redshift. Um, so there you go. For the exam, just remember whenever you see anything to do with online analytical processing or uh, handling petabyte scale data warehouses or columnar storage, think Amazon Redshift. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. And until then, enjoy the cloud.